done. Of course, Harden did turn down a $50 million extension, boy. That's a big, heavy bag to turn down. That means you locked in for the guys. You want to play with Kyrie and KD bad, bad, bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, oh, oh. Welcome back to another video with me, Simone. Yes, me again. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you ain't miss none of this. Ah. So, guys, let's get into some of the action. So, obviously, the NBA trades period started yesterday, Monday, and we all had our notifications on for Woj, 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 what's that Woj? Woj phone blowing up. So there was some a couple of bombs yesterday guys that really affected the 76ers directly or indirectly but definitely affected the East as a whole which means it's going to affect the 76ers because we got to go through them boys to get to the top period. So I'm going to let you guys know how about four or five moves that were made yesterday on Monday affected the 76ers directly or indirectly so here's your 76ers news chris paul was traded to the suns and obviously chris paul was a guy that we were looking um to have on the 76ers obviously chris paul is one of the most talented point guards in the league has been one of the most talented point guards in the league for a while now he elevates guys around him just look what he did in okc he elevates guys around him he's definitely a floor general he can close games down the stretch even though he's getting older he proved that at okc that's definitely why we were looking at him to be the guy that could come in um, for the 76ers and help be a floor general, help spread the floor. Obviously, the 76ers extremely need help because Josh Register and Ben Simmons paying the one and two is just not getting it done for the 76ers. So, obviously, we're looking for another guard, another ball handler to come in for the 76ers. And Chris Paul would have been like the dream guy because he has that supreme veteran leadership. He's able to elevate guys and he's a master of the position. But that's over with now for the 76ers because he is obviously a lot down with the Suns. He is staying in the Western Conference. So, you know, we won't have to see him unless it's in the championship. But still, it would have been great to have that guy come to the 76ers. So that's already one guy we can chalk off the board coming to the 76ers. Um, Bogdan Bogdovich. He got traded um, to the Bucks. So now he is going to be a swing man for the Bucks. And let me just read some of Bogdan's numbers. Bogdan shot 37.5% um, from the three-point line, and he was 40% on catch-and-shoot scoring. Guys, he's going to be elevate the Bucks extremely. And the Bucks was already a team that, you know, we were in contention with in the East. So the Bucks. <sighs> The Bucks, they leveled up there, definitely having him in the rotation. And Bogdan is a young guy who is going to be, is projected to be, have a superstar potential in the league. So the Bucks bolstered up there. And not only did they bolster up there, but they also snagged Drew Holiday. Now, Drew Holiday was the guy that some 76ers fans were looking for, for the same reason we're looking for Chris Paul. Another ball handler, another guy who could stretch the floor, veteran presence, obviously would have been cheaper than getting a guy like Chris Paul, or I know some people had their sights set on Harden. Obviously a cheaper guy than one of those, but still um, a guy that the 76ers was looking at to be play the one or two position, come in as a death piece. But obviously Drew Holiday is now going to the Milwaukee Bucks. Yes, the Bucks made two moves. Well, Drew Holiday was like in the middle of the night, but I'm still calling it on Monday. But the Bucks made two moves to bolster up their roster. And obviously Giannis was begging for some help and they answered his prayers. So now the Bucks bolstered up and got Bogdan and they got Drew Holiday. And just to get into some nuances of the trade, um, the Pelicans traded him to the Bucks for Eric Bledsoe and George Hill in three picks um and two pick and swap so the pelicans racked up the picks i mean the pelicans got all the picks the pelicans is like the team that people keep dumping off their players and picks on like they're like dang can we get some stability you know what i'm saying once we start rocking with a guy y'all want to gut us <laughs> 
So um, obviously the Bucks are bolstering up and Drew Holiday is a guy that's crossed off the board. But not only that, now that the Bucks, not that the Bucks, now that the Kings got rid of Bogdan, that is definitely going to affect the 76ers chances of getting Buddy Hill. Mind you, Buddy Hill got bitched for Bogdan. And that's why Buddy Hill was really upset at the Kings and wanted out of the Kings because he got benched for Bogdan. But now that they got rid of Bogdan, it kind of looks like they might, they're probably going to keep Buddy Hill, which means, you know, guys, y'all know I wanted Buddy Hill bad so if they keep buddy hill like buddy hill is one of the most affordable guys in my um 76ers stretching the floor deep threat scoring but also to play defensive scenario guy um buddy hill was definitely the cheaper guy we could get to elevate the team um and to have a serious impact on the team and if they traded Bogdan that's likely means that they're trying to make things work with Buddy but in the same sense it might mean too that they're going to get rid of Buddy maybe they're getting rid of them both maybe they just want to start over completely they're already in a rebuild scenario so I don't know why they would rebuild on the rebuild but I'm just being positive and maybe they're still gonna get rid of Buddy James Harden now obviously James Harden wants to play for the Nets he said before that it was either the Nets or the 76ers like he's just trying to head up north period but now it seems like um, James Harden is locked in on the Nets and he pretty much was working out with Kyrie and KD it's a little bit messiness there because some reports now I don't know how secure those reports are but some reports were saying that KD wants Harden but Kyrie doesn't I'm not 100% sure how correct that is but it will be a lot of a lot of a lot of dominance a lot of ball dominant guys on one team and also the Nets will have to gut the whole roster which means no cares Levert for you guys who is who really show it out for them in the playoffs obviously the Nets will have to gut the whole roster just to get Harden but obviously Harden KD and Kyrie would be extremely 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 nasty um, of course, you know, some 76ers fans were super hopeful for Harden coming to the Sixers. I couldn't see it happening because obviously we have to give up Ben, who the 76ers and a lot of 76ers fans are super high on just to get James Harden. I'm not saying just to get James Harden, like James Harden is a superstar, but um, I do think we should keep Ben. I don't know. I don't know exactly how I feel. Like, I'm kind of torn between. Um, I do think we should try to get a, a ball handler in. Uh, an elite port guard in with keeping Joel and Ben before we try to trade one of them away. But um, James Harden is looking like he wants to go to the Nets, so that will be super nasty. The Nets will be super nasty, and obviously the Nets are a team we will have to watch out for anyway, just because of Kyrie and KD are going to be taking the floor together um, for the first time. So obviously the Nets were a team that was bottom in the East, but now are going to shoot up to top in the East. So that's another team that we're going to be in contention with this season. So obviously the Nets will be super hard with Harden, KD playing the three, or he can also play the four Kyrie at the one and Harden at the two Ooh, we it's looking like some sweeps are going to be happening but don't know if um the Rockets are gonna be able to get it done of course Harden did turn down a 50 million dollar extension boy that's a big heavy bag to turn down that means you locked in for the guys you want to play with Kyrie and KD bad that bad, bad okay but obviously if Harden goes to the Nets that is a scenario that will hugely impact the 76ers championship hopes um and also you know some 76ers had real hopes that we were get Harden I didn't think so of course Meek Mill did vouch for Harden and Meek Mill is he is on the case for us he is trying to work to get Harden to come to 76ers but I don't think Meek Mill is enough pool to get Harden to the 76ers but guys that was day one of NBA free agency trades um woge bombs let me know what you guys think let me know obviously there's still some guys out there that we can get to make an impact on the team some more ball handlers and some more bona fide scorers we can still get like like i said you guys know i'm super high on buddy hill and buddy hill is still an option of course i said the chances might have got slimmer or greater for buddy hill it could really go either way with the bogdan moves um but also we could also i saw some people saying terry rozier that would be good some people were saying um seth curry that's a low-key good move for us too so i'm gonna just stay tuned see if the 76ers are involved in any more um in need 
trade scenarios and if any of these other trade scenarios directly or inadvertently affect the 76ers so make sure you guys stay tuned um turn your notifications on for me and Woj so you can stay up to date make sure you guys like comment and subscribe